Um, innovator number four is my colleague uh, Dan Norton. He and I go back uh, some ways, so I'm happy to say Wisconsin's over overrepresented today. Go, go Badgers. Un undefeated, I might add. Um, but uh, Dan Norton is here from Filament Games, and he's going to talk to you a little bit about a game that he brought in, and I think Filament's uh, philosophy on game-based learning. Yeah. Hi, everybody. I'm in a little bit of awkward spot, so I'll just sort of slowly rotate as I do this. Uh, so I'll get, I'll get over there, guys. Don't worry. Um, so yes, I'm from a company called Filament Games. We're a design and development studio in Madison, Wisconsin, uh, that focuses exclusively on learning games and games for positive impact. Um, this meeting for me is a little bit of actually a trick to pull on all of you because I need to know more from you maybe than you need to know from me. Um, we have done lots and lots, 100, 100 plus different game-based learning, game-based training uh, projects over the last 11 years or so. But the health field and the health training has actually always been opaque and is actually new to us. So we have a new project we've been doing with an organization called App Clinic that's called Saving Lives, and it's a CPR training game. Um, but I would love to share that and talk to you guys about, I think, some of the tensions between the term game and play and simulation and when you're creating educational material that may save someone's life or fail to save someone's life. So I know those are all really uh, big topics, and I think those have been the main sort of barriers. Um, the project we have actually I think has a couple of interesting discussion points to sort of start with that. Um, for example, I think uh, the team really wrestled with how many of your CPR patients should die even if you do everything correctly. Um, from a game-based perspective where you want to use feedback that is uh, rewarding performance metrics and actually you know, being positive around proper uh, practice, none should die. Um, but then there's the broader professional practice of actually having to deal with those deaths. So yeah, so we, we thought about that a lot. And there's, there's a bunch of those things inside this game that I think are interesting compromises between simulation fidelity uh, and creating effective learning and training experiences. So, so that's, that's what's going to be happening at my table. Uh, oh, I didn't even rotate. I blew it. Hey, everybody. Sorry. This is what I look like. Yeah. I'll be over here at number four to talk about those things. Thank you.